So I want to talk to you about my RID technique, R-I-D-D. So many emotional eaters really just want to get rid of their emotions, and I would really love to help you feel your emotions, because if you feel them, then they don't control you, and you can let them go. And so I want to teach you how to do that, because so many emotional eaters aren't really very self-aware. They're not even sure when they're feeling an emotion, and if they are, what they're feeling. And so the RID technique will allow you to get rid of the emotion by allowing yourself to experience it. And once you allow the emotion to come out, it goes away. So R, let's recognize that we're feeling a strong emotion. And how you do that is pay attention to your physical cues, your mental cues, right? So like when I'm angry, I know that I get really tense. I may start to shake based on how angry I am. My heart starts pumping furiously. Um, maybe you become a little short of breath or you just start breathing really fast. Um, you may find that if you are hurt, or upset by something, you actually become very lethargic or very tired. And so look at the physical cues and if all of a sudden your body is reacting differently than to your norm, you're probably experiencing a strong emotion. Also think about your mental state. Are you wanting to hide? Are you wanting to isolate? Are you wanting to just push everyone away? Are you wanting to integrate into a crowd just to be distracted so you don't have to think? Um, are you wanting to defend yourself at every opportunity or attack? These are different things that you may do when you're feeling strong emotions and don't know what to do with them. So that's the R. Pay attention to your physical and mental state to be able to see or to recognize that you're feeling a strong emotion. Then I, identify what the emotion is. Are you angry? Are you sad? Are you frustrated? Are you lonely? Are you bored? Are you stressed out? What is the emotion? So the emotion is the internal reaction to a situation. Feelings are how we express them. And so we've got to first identify what that emotion is so we can appropriately express them the way we see fit. So that's what the I is. Then D, determine what triggered the emotion in the first place. Because we need to understand if I'm hurt, what hurt me? Because we can't figure out a resolution until we understand the problem. If I'm angry, what pissed me off? If I'm scared, what scared me? So we really need to determine what triggered the emotion. And then the last D is decide. Decide what we need to be able to fully experience the emotion so we can let it go. How do we express it? Do we need to journal? That works for me. I'm not really sure what's going on. I just know these are my symptoms. This is how I am now feeling. And I work my way through it and realize, okay, I'm hurt. This is why. And you know what? I'll feel better if I do this. And I figure that out through journaling, and then I go do that. Maybe you need to go for a walk, and you need to clear your head, and you need to allow the emotion, all the physical, uh, all the physicality of that emotion to go away before you can wrap your mind around all of the details of it. Maybe you need to get a kickboxing bag and just beat the hell out of it to get out some aggression before you can figure things out or after you figure out you're angry and that's how you want to express it. There's so many different ways to express an emotion and you want to do it in a way that's going to fulfill you. Then you won't be turning to food. And the whole reason I want you to feel is so that way you don't feed, right? And so if we can use the RID process to recognize we're feeling a strong emotion, identify what it is, determine what caused it, and then decide what we need to do to experience it so we can let it go, we will no longer feel controlled by the emotion. We will no longer feel afraid of the emotion, but instead we'll feel like we can actually handle that emotion to our own benefit and then move on because at that point we will feel fulfilled by whatever decision we make on how to express it. So that way we can move on to the next stage of life and not look for food.